We're here today with something a little bit different. We want to give you some information on fastener basics. Aaron, let's start today with bolts and hex head captures. Yeah, that's a good subject, so let's get into it. <laughs> I, uh, one thing I always love to ask people this question okay. is what is the difference between a bolt and a screw? A difference between a bolt and a screw. This is a very common one we get all the time. Sure, yeah, <laughs> So see it all the time. Let's talk about that. So a bolt, what is the intended use of a bolt? It's to go through two components, right? We're fastening two components together. So to go through two components and you put a nut on the back side. Right. Now, the important thing is the proper way to assemble is to rotate the nut. Okay. Now, when you think about that, then this is just being held steady. So we have no bearing surface, really frictional forces we're concerned about there. That's being held. It's the nut that's rotating. So therefore, for a bolt, the underhead bearing surface is not critical. Right. So bolt specifications are written kind of loose uh, as to what the surface condition has to be. Body and, diameter is a little different. And the body diameter. And the length and, is the biggest one. And the length is also different. So the length is a little bit more tolerance and the body diameter is more tolerance. The body diameter of the bolt is a plus or minus tolerance. So that is the basics of a bolt. The screw, on the other hand, the screw is intended to go into, through one piece of material and into a threaded hole. Or to create one, but in this case, as we're talking about hex heads, you're going to have a tapped hole. You have a tapped hole. So that's its intended use, is to go into then a tapped hole. Now, we're rotating the head of the screw, therefore, the bearing surface here, the frictional forces, are important. So what they've done is they've design, designed what we call a bearing ring. And so the surface finish of that is also designated as critical. The perpendicularity is more critical. The fillet Body radius is more critical. Is more critical. And the length tolerance is more and critical. And the length tolerance yeah. is more critical and the body diameter. So the body diameter on a screw only has a minus tolerance. Now, think about this. So, Aaron, is this a bolt or a screw? Well, I'd have to measure it to ensure that it is, but I think that's a screw. Okay, that's correct. Yeah. This, what I have in my hand right here, was manufactured as a screw. Now, can I put a nut on here and use this as a bolt? You can. Absolutely, yep. yes. Now, can I take a bolt with its loose tolerances on the body diameter, the head, and use it as a screw? Not necessarily. Maybe probably shouldn't do that. So you can use a screw as a bolt, but you shouldn't necessarily use a bolt as a screw. 